This one is called the 433 Volpiana I, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming it's the La Volpiana build-up style of play, but I don't really have much on here. The description basically says 433 Busquet era type of Barca. The halfback has that problem, the dribble less player instruction, which is very anti-meta, but the shape seems lovely. I'm not really sure what that means, to be honest. I'm old, as we can see. So, uh, but this was tested with AC Milan and did very well. 101 goals, 87 points, 27, 6, and 5. So not too bad. Uh, but we are going to take a look at it with our three teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side, as always, of Ipswich Town. So with all that said, let's see if these wingbacks can move up the pitch a bit. Well, taking a look at the Premier League table, you can see 90 points for Liverpool gets them the title only by two from Arsenal, though. 90 goals for is not too bad. 79 goals for Aston Villa, 74 points. I would say we're looking right around average. A little bit higher, though, for Liverpool. Well, a fantastic Liverpool Domestic Cup season. You can see 8-2 to two Carabao Cup final over Ipswich Town. Ipswich getting to the final is pretty impressive. But beating Aston Villa in the semifinals of the FA Cup, winning against Chelsea 1-0 in the FA Cup final. That's three trophies right there. And we might as well make it just a perfect season. One all in penalties in the Europa League final win over Atalanta. So yeah, we have seen tactics where the Premier League, they've gotten more goals, more points, but a four-trophy season, you can't beat that. I still kind of want to know why there's not more green, but overall, a fantastic tally there. 36 goals for Salah, 30 for Nunez, very well done. 19 assists for Trent. Average rating, well, Kelleher's in there, but Simikas with a 7.29, but Salah with a 7.28. 17 assists for Simikas, damn. Well, we knew domestically they weren't going to get any trophies, but Carabao Cup third round is pretty awful. Nil two against Sheffield United, ouch. But we did see that they lost out against Liverpool nil two in the FA Cup semifinals. But they don't come away from the season empty-handed. They do beat PAOK 2-1 in the Europa Conference League final. So overall, I mean a pretty standard run of form from what we've seen from a lot of different tactics. Fifth place in the league, winners of the Conference League, semifinals of the FA Cup's not bad, and then at Carabao Cup, yeah, whatever. And, yeah, I mean, they've got more green than usual, but still not a lot. But 23 goals for Diaby is actually kind of on the low mark for some of these tactics that we've seen. 12 assists for Matty Cash, 11 for Luis Zaniolo with 10, and then average rating Moreno with a 7-12. Getting into the data hub for Liverpool, you can see a fairly through-and-through -through attacking style. I right, The goals just aren't there, though. But fouls made per game are really down there on the list, but... 2.37 goals per game for Liverpool, uh, just 0.92 more than the Premier League average. 0.55 conceded, 0.66 XG against. That's really well done. Aston Villa, same thing, different numbers. Uh, you can see pretty much all around is very similar to what Liverpool has. 2.08 goals per game, 1.18 conceded, 1.12 XG against. Again, fairly standard, if not a little bit lower than average for Aston Villa. Premier League stats, 2.37 points per game for Liverpool, Aston Villa with 1.95. Most goals, 90 for Liverpool, topping the list only by one again over Tottenham though, Aston Villa in 5th with 79. Few shots against Liverpool with 209, Aston Villa in 5th with 309. Most possession, Liverpool does make the list with 53%. Most dribbles made, Liverpool in 6th with 640, Aston Villa with 2 down with 638. Best pass completion, Aston Villa making the list this time around with 88%. And most shots for Liverpool with 673, Aston Villa with 567. But now, how did our championship side of Ipswich Town do in this one? And they topped the list. 103 points, 103 goals. Looks pretty nice. Schedule-wise, we got to the FA Cup third round, but nil 2 drops you out against Blackburn. We did see that they got to the Carabao Cup final. But man, what an absolute thrashing. 2-8. to eight. But still, championship topping the list is fantastic. Always love seeing that. And then the Carabao Cup runners-up is pretty nice itself. They actually have, well, I mean, they have about the average amount of green, maybe a little more than usual. But George Hurst with 27 goals. Connor Chaplin with 15 assists. 21 for Leaf Davis. Topping list as always. Leaf Davis, though, with a 7-3-4 is very well done. Championship stats, 2.24 points per game, leads the league. Most goals in second, though, with 103. At Norwich getting, coming in with two higher uh, after the playoffs, of course. But few shots against in first with 286. Most possession in eighth with 53%. Most dribbles made in sixth with 736. And most shots for in second with 723. 
But now let us take a look at the tactic itself. We start out with a sweeper keeper in defend, wingbacks on the left and the right in attack, ball playing defenders in the central spots in defend, a halfback in defend, a central midfielder in support, another one in support next to him, two inside forwards in support, and then an advanced forward in attack up front. Attacking mentality, in possession, attacking with his narrow, approach plays pass into space, focus play down the left and the right, passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher, low crosses and run at defense, in transition, counter press, counter, just distribute quickly and roll it out, and then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more, and invite crosses. But now overall, how did it do for our three teams? Well, I gotta say... Pretty nice. Ipswich Town back to the tops is always a good mark. We have seen them with a lot higher goals, with a hot, you know, a few more points. But overall, they did a great job getting to the tops. It definitely worked for them. Liverpool topping the league themselves. 90 points is a little bit higher than usual. 90 goals is not too bad. Again, we've seen higher for them as well. But overall, this is a fantastic run. Aston Villa in fifth is basically about average. 79 goals, 74 points is definitely on that average mark. But as I always say, you could definitely turn some of those losses and draws into more points if you take control of this yourself. Do your own training, match outs, uh, transfers, things like that. Again, there's no transfers here whatsoever, pretty much. Maybe a one or two off here and there. Uh, but this is just a simple sim for me the entire season. I've taken control of nothing. But if you took control of it, you could do a lot better. And if you did take control of it, let us know how it worked for you in the comments below. But that is it for me, 7FM, for the Football Manager Blog channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.